It's almost like a horror movie. Every time I look out a window, it's like Hydrox knows where I am and he's staring at me. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 8.45 a.m. right now, and I was up super early this morning and out of the house. And the cats ate their breakfast. I just gave them their breakfast. And Stella, Splash, and Simba ate their food so fast. Boo only ate part of his food, and then he wanted to come up and eat the rest in the kitchen. So I let him do that, and I used one of the raw Boost mixers on top of his food. Um, and that entices him to eat. Otherwise, he doesn't really care to eat much. But... Stella and Simba were just up here trying to steal his food because I guess they did not eat enough breakfast and they wanted to eat his food also. But they all had one and a quarter scoops of the homemade raw food. They also had some of the primal raw rabbit bites mixed in. So they had a very good portion. The thing is last night they did not have crunchies. Instead they had um, baby food mixed in with the squeeze up. They did not have one squeeze up each. There was like one squeeze up mixed into like half a jar of baby food and that was split four ways. So they only had like a little snack last night instead of crunchies because I want to keep them off the dry stuff until things are moving a little bit better, if you know what I mean. So Boo's eating his food. He's being very picky and choosy with it. Maybe he doesn't like the rabbit bites in it. When they're done with this batch of raw food, um, which will be in a few days, the next batch that I make will not have any rabbit in it. It will only be chicken because they seem to like it better that way. It is 8.58 a.m. And I just went outside to give Hydrox some food and some water. I did not see him anywhere. Um, half of the dry food in the bowl of the automatic feeder has been eaten. So I assumed he ate the food and then he was off doing whatever. Then he walked out of the shelter and he looked like he was sleeping. So I moved his food over because he likes eating on the side of the patio. And he has a big bowl of three of the scoops of homemade raw food with a bunch of water mixed in. And I actually crushed in some of the raw boost mixers for some additional nutrition. He likes those. And I gave him some herbs. So right now all I could do is um, give him as much nutrition as I possibly can give him and um, you know boost his immune system that way. So in the time it took me to wash out a bowl and replace the water in two of the water bowls inside, Hydrox ate all of that food. Like he ate every little bit of it. It is 10.40 a.m. And I can't believe what just happened. So I'm outside here crushing boxes. So the day that I had planned has just, you know, it's not happening. I'm having a day where all kinds of things are popping up unexpectedly. And I've had to just reschedule my whole day. My whole day is just a total mess right now. And um, so to try to uh, be productive and maximize my time, I've been outside crushing cardboard boxes and getting them ready to be put out for a recycle. And as I was doing that, uh, Hydrox walked out of his shelter, because I guess he was relaxing in the shelter, and he came out to see what I was doing. And he came out to say hello to me. And he was just sitting here really quietly until I put the camera on. Um, so like right now I'm crouched down and I have the camera on him. He's probably like three or four feet away from me. But the minute I turn the camera on, I don't know if you guys caught the beginning of it or not, but as soon as I hit record on the camera, that's when he meowed for the first time. And then he walked toward me, not away from me, but toward me. And it's probably because I'm crouching near a food bowl but he had a lot of food this morning. Like he had a really lot of food. So um, I don't want to give him more food right now. I just want to finish um, crushing up these boxes and maybe I'll give him like a squeeze up or some squeeze up soup. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll go inside, I'll put some squeeze up soup together for him. I'm putting the squeeze up soup together for Hydrox. 
and he was at the back door with Stella. Because he was watching to see what I was doing. Right here I have some squeeze up soup. It's basically a squeeze up with some water added to it. Hey Hydrox, do you want some squeeze up soup? Do you want some squeeze up soup? Want some squeeze up soup? Do you want some squeeze up soup? Come on. Soup? Squeeze up soup? Squeeze up soup? Do you want squeeze up soup? Do you want some squeeze up soup? Do you want some? Would you like some? Where are you going? Where do you want it here? I gotta put it in a bowl for you. You can't can't drink out of this cup. It's a little too too narrow. Want some? Want some? Come on. Come on. Come on, Hydrox. Come on over here. Come on, follow me. Follow me over here. Come on. Over here. Over here. I just put the squeeze up soup in his bowl. Go eat the soup. Eat the soup, it's in the other bowl. The other bowl. Hydrox loves squeeze up soup. Right now I'm about three or four feet away from him. I'm trying to just like inch in closer. Look how fast he's eating. See, if I get too close, he doesn't want to eat. I just put the sport pet plastic cat carrier outside here. I'm just curious to see uh, if Hydrox will go near it or if he would go in it. I mean, I doubt he would go in it, but I'm wondering if he would go near it even to just check it out. I've not put any catnip in it. I don't have anything in it. I did not put like a blanket or anything in it. Um, just because this is more just like an experiment just to see what would happen. Right now it's about five o'clock. I'm standing about two feet away from the bowl that I just fed Hydrox in. And I, I'm realizing that the only time to train him is like before he eats. And so I put the food in his bowl and I stood next to it and I said, okay Hydrox, you could come and eat. And he didn't move and then I took one step back and then I said, okay, Hydrox, you could come and eat. And he thought about it, and he thought about it, and he thought about it. And he very, very slowly approached the bowl. But he came and he ate out of the bowl while I'm standing here. I'm standing here two feet away. There's no zoom on this camera. And he came up to the bowl to eat while I'm standing here. That is so big for Hydrox. Like, I could reach out and touch him if I wanted to, but I won't because I know it'll freak him out. But that's so big. Today the temperature was about 48 degrees, so it wasn't too cold, but I just checked again and it was 38 degrees right now. And then I checked the temperature in Hydrox's shelter and it was like 51 degrees. So his shelter's staying warmer uh, than the outside temperature and he's not even in the shelter, he's hanging out outside of the shelter. So when he goes in the shelter, his body heat along with um, the insulation and everything will bring the temperature of the shelter up even more. But he's enjoying his food. He's getting three scoops of the homemade food that is made especially for him. Also, some of the freeze-dried chicken bites were squashed up and mixed into that, along with water and herbs. It's 5.59 p.m. and still is dreaming. She's moving her paws. And she's making sounds. I wonder what she's dreaming about. What do you think cats dream about?
Do they dream about hunting? Do they dream about playing? Do they dream about fighting with other cats? Do they dream about eating? Right now it is 6.36 p.m. and I've been working from home all afternoon. So the cats had some afternoon crunchies. They did not have a lot of afternoon crunchies. They just had a little bit of afternoon crunchies, like maybe like half a tablespoon each. And Stella has been crashed out sleeping since then. And none of the cats are bothering me for dinner at all. Boo's been hanging out here in the cat tower. Simba's been sleeping in this cat tower. And Splash was sleeping in this bed under the Christmas tree, but when I walked past him, he ran. I honestly think that something in the crunchies makes the cats sleep. Like something must be very relaxing for them. Because normally they get the crunchies at night and then they, you know, they sleep really well all night. But today they had crunchies in the afternoon and they've been sleeping in the afternoon. Unless they're just you know, used to sleeping after eating crunchies that they're like conditioned to do that. So I don't know what it is, but I'm just shocked that, you know, it's after 6.30 and nobody's pestering me for dinner. Right now it's 37 degrees outside and inside of Hydrox's shelter, it's almost 57 degrees in there. And the last time I checked, it was at 51 degrees a little while ago. So the temperature definitely is going up since the last time I checked. Um, and it appears that it's going up because Hydrox is in the shelter. So that would mean that the temperature in the shelter definitely goes up when a cat is in there. It is 8.52 a.m. and it is 33 degrees out, but it's 52 degrees in Hydrox's shelter. It is 8.40 a.m. right now, and I'm really happy the sun just came out. I just gave Hydrox his food. He is getting his homemade raw food. He's getting three scoops of that. Um, he's getting some water. He's getting some herbs. And today, I even stirred in some pumpkin. So we'll see if he likes that with the pumpkin. I thought it would be good for him. Hydrox was still sleeping in his shelter when I served him his food. So what I did was I have this little uh, spoon and this little pot that I prepare it in. So I used it as an alarm clock and I kind of like, you know, made a little noise with them and Hydrox woke up. It was his alarm clock. I'm using the new camera and there is no zoom on it right now. So I just got pretty close to him. The bowl of the automatic feeder is full of food. It looks like nobody even ate it yet. Hydrox went over to his food, and now he's eating it. And it is really cold out today. It is just above freezing, it's about 33 degrees out. Another thing that I wanted to mention right now is the fact that when feral cats make progress, it's not in a straight line like it'll be like you know two steps forward one step back three steps forward one step back um it'll be like that it will not be consistently improve 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 learn 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 sometimes you'll feel like oh they just made great progress and then you'll feel like well they're kind of going backwards so that's the situation um, with anything, um, you know, pretty much almost all things in nature, nothing really happens in a straight line. You know, everything has curves and bends and, um, stuff like that. So, um, I just wanted to remind people, I mean, people that work with feral cats usually understand that, but people that don't have direct experience, um, don't always get that. 
I just gave the cats their breakfast and they're getting one and a quarter of the homemade scoops each. And I had a little bit of the tuna packed in oil left in the can. So I mixed whatever was left in the can into all the uh, scoops. And then I portioned it out. So, so Splash and Stella are eating theirs. And Simba is eating his. And Boo says, I'm not eating that food unless you put something I like on top of it. It is 8.55 p.m. and I just got back. I just got home. I was out for the past, like, four hours. And I'm just about to give Hydrox some food. So I pulled... Oh, he sees Boo. He sees Boo in the window. That's why he was meowing. And I was saying that I pulled my car into the driveway. And as I was getting out of the car, Hydrox comes to the edge of the driveway and he starts meowing at me like, where have you been? It reminded me of when Boo was living on the patio because when I used to come home, he kind of did the same thing. Like he would come and greet me and meow at me. Okay, Hydrox, you want some food? Want some food? Hydrox is telling me to stop talking because it's cold out and he's hungry and he wants to eat. Okay, Hydrox, I'm gonna give you your food. And he's meowing at Boo. He just saw Boo again. Boo's in the window. So uh, he's getting three of the scoops of homemade raw food. He's getting water. He's getting some uh, turkey baby food mixed in and he's getting some herbs. Hydrox went straight over to his food and now he's eating it. He should eat that whole bowl. Like it was literally filled to the top. It's a lot of food for him. It is 9.33 p.m. and I was just in Boo's room and I was putting something on the shelf and I looked out the window and Hydrox was sitting on this runner rug which is behind him just staring at me like he was looking up at the window and staring at me. I was like, what do you want, Hydrox? He said he wanted his dessert. So I just went outside, I gave him a tuna squeeze up and that's his dessert. Then he's done. I can't just keep feeding him all night. He had a huge bowl of food. Nine forty one PM. And I just went downstairs to put some stuff away and I looked out the window and Hydrox was staring at me. It's almost like a horror movie. Every time I look out a window, it's like Hydrox knows where I am and he's staring at me. So I just gave him like a third of a can of Trader Joe's tuna for cats and I added some water to it and then I put it out in the bowl and it's like another full bowl of food. I'm starting to think maybe Hydrox might have like a tapeworm or something. In which case tomorrow I'm going to switch his herbs from what he's been on to maybe some anti-parasite herbs and see what's going on with that. So um, yeah, so I just gave him some tuna and that's all he's getting. And tonight instead of crunchies, the cats are also going to get some tuna soup because Boo and Stella are like, you know, on top of me as I'm making the tuna for Hydrox. So, um, yeah. Meanwhile, my mouth is so dry right now and I am so incredibly thirsty. And what that means is something I ate today had MSG in it. And this is like one of the main uh, reactions that I get from MSG. So if I have something with MSG in it, I get insatiable thirst right now. Like I am so thirsty. I could just drink like a gallon of ice cold water. And the other thing is it triggers junk food cravings. So for like three days, I'll have just insatiable junk food cravings. So I'm hoping um, that's not the case. Right now it's just like really, really bad thirst. And I did eat dinner out tonight, um, so it could be in something that I ate, and that's what I'm thinking, because I was not like this during the day at all. It was only within the past 
few hours that I noticed it and um, yeah, not happy about that. Thank you for watching this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.